At Infantino, we're big believers in baby wearing because it keeps mom and baby close and connected, letting you share life's little adventures, moments, and smiles together. While each of our carriers has been made with some serious smarts, mom-inspired insights, durable, comfortable fabrics, and plenty of style, our Sash Mai Tai carrier is based on a centuries-old style of baby wearing. Its natural design conforms to your curves to fit you perfectly and let baby ride comfortably. Buckle-free wraps are simple, super secure, and customizable to let your sash grow with baby and form to your body shape. Here's a look at how the sash works, starting with some of its unique design features. Here are the padded shoulder straps and the head support for baby hood snaps, pacifier loop, leg hole loops, supportive waist strap, patterned panel, shoulder strap labels, waist strap labels, instructional panel, and the waistband placement label. The sash works as both a front and a back carrier. Here's a quick walkthrough, starting with the facing in position used for carrying infants. First, hold the carrier upside down by the waist straps. Make sure the patterned panel is facing towards you and the shoulder straps hanging down. Now you're ready to place the carrier flat against your body. The perfect spot to center it is right at your natural waist, where your belly button is. Now tie the waist straps tightly behind your back in a double knot. This might take a few practice tries to get the hang of, but you'll master it pretty quick. Once the carrier is tied, just lift baby up facing towards you and place them high up on your chest. Your baby's legs will be naturally open with a comfortable bend at the knees. Remember to always keep a supportive hand on your baby. And if you need a little help, recruit a partner to help you out when you're placing baby in the carrier. Now, keeping one hand secure on baby, pull the carrier over baby's entire body and then drape the shoulder straps over your shoulders so they hang behind you. Next, while holding baby securely with your right hand, Use your left hand to reach behind your back to grab the shoulder strap from the opposite side of your body. Now bring the strap around the front and repeat this with the other shoulder strap. With the shoulder strap's ends that are in front of your body, you're going to tie a sturdy double knot right across the middle of your baby's back, which will close off the sides of the carrier. Double check to make sure that the straps have formed an X on your back, like this. Baby's head should be turned to one side to ensure they can breathe comfortably. Once your little one is past infancy and can hold his or her head up well, you can carry them like this. First, hold the carrier upside down by the waist straps. Make sure the pattern panel is facing toward you and the shoulder straps are hanging down. Next, place the carrier flat against your body. The perfect spot to center it is right at your natural waist, where your belly button is. Now tie the waist straps tightly behind your back in a double knot. Your carrier should be properly tied at this point and you are ready to lift baby up, facing towards you and place them against your body in the tummy to tummy position. Their legs should wrap around your waist, nice and snug. Remember to always keep a supportive hand on your baby, either yours or that of a partner, to assist you while placing baby in the carrier. Keeping one hand secure on baby, just pull the carrier over baby's back and drape the shoulder straps over your shoulders so they hang behind you. While holding baby securely with your left hand, 
Use your right hand to reach behind your back to grab the shoulder strap from the opposite side of your body. Now bring the strap around the front and repeat with the other shoulder strap. With the shoulder straps in front of your body, you can front tie across the middle of baby's back in a double knot. Double check to make sure that the straps have formed an X on your back, like this. If the strap length allows, you can tie in the back. For a back tie, just take the shoulder straps over baby's thighs, cross them under their bottom, wrap them back beneath the child's legs, and tie in a double knot behind you. If baby needs a little extra protection from the sun and rain, you have the option of using the detachable hood. First, make sure that baby is snug against you in the facing-in position, as previously explained. Attach the hood to the carrier by snapping the base of the hood to the matching snaps on the carrier's front. Then, attach the remaining straps at the top of the hood to the desired matching snaps on the carrier straps. Remember, it's very important to make sure that there's enough room around baby's face to ensure they can breathe easily. When using the hood, you should frequently look under it and make sure that baby is comfortable. When it's time to remove baby from the carrier, make sure to do it slowly and carefully, all while keeping at least one hand against baby and underneath the sash. First, untie the double knot you created with the shoulder straps and let the carrier fold down in front of you. Now baby is no longer being carried by the sash, so it's very important that you support him or her here. Place baby down in a secure location while you untie the waist straps and fully remove the carrier. You can also carry older babies in the backpack position like this. Start by holding the carrier behind you and upside down by the waist straps. The pattern panel should face your body and the shoulder straps hang down. Next, place the carrier flat against your body at your natural waist and tie the waist straps tightly in front of you. Then tie a sturdy double knot to secure the carrier. Now have your partner lift your child up and place them on your back with the child's legs wrapped around your waist. As always, keep a supportive hand on your child. With your partner still supporting the child, pull the carrier body over the child's back and drape the shoulder straps over your shoulders so they hang in front of you. Then loop the straps under your arms and behind you. Crisscross the straps, pull them tight, and bring them back in front of you. Finish with a sturdy double knot at your waist. Now for removing baby from the back carry position. Have your helper support the child while you untie the shoulder straps. While your helper is still supporting the child, remove both shoulder straps and have them lift the child out of the carrier body. Next, untie the double knot securing the waist strap and remove the carrier completely. For babies that can sit up on their own, you can use the convenient hip carrying position. This position starts by holding the carrier upside down by the waist straps with the pattern panel facing toward you and the shoulder straps hanging loose. Now place the carrier flat against your body at your natural waist and off to one side. Then tie the waist straps tightly in a double knot opposite the hip that you'll be carrying baby on. Once your carrier is properly tied, lift baby up and place them on your hip. Their legs should wrap around your waist comfortably. Keep that supportive hand on baby when wrapping the carrier. With one hand secure on baby, pull the carrier body over baby's back. 
Place one shoulder strap over your shoulder and bring it across your back. Now take the other shoulder strap and drape it over your shoulder and across your back. With the shoulder straps in front of your body, you can front tie across the middle of your baby's back in a double knot. Or, if the strap length allows, you can tie it in the back. Take the shoulder straps over baby's thighs, cross on the carrier body at baby's bottom, back beneath the child's legs, and tie a double knot behind you, like this. When it's time to remove baby from the carrier, make sure to do it slowly and carefully, exactly like you did with the facing in position. Remember to always keep a supportive hand on baby throughout the entire removal process. First, untie the double knot you created with the shoulder straps and let the carrier fold down in front of you. Now baby is no longer being carried by the sash, so it's very important that you support them here. Place baby down in a secure location while you untie the waist straps and fully remove the carrier. This video is not a substitute for the product instruction manual. If you've purchased this carrier, read and review the entire product manual before using this carrier. The product instruction manual contains important warnings and instructions for use that are not covered in this video.